Hi there. My name is Urshi Timar. I'm a physiotherapist and one of the co-owners at 416 Physio here in Toronto, where we specialize in treating Achilles ruptures. Today, I'm going to show you how to set the back of pet boot following an Achilles rupture. So this boot is actually designed for ruptures. Uh, so the two main things that we have to make sure it's set properly is the angle and using the proper wedge. The first thing is the angle. Here is the key that you're going to take out and use the knobs in the back of the boot and follow it and push the boot all the way to number three, which means the boot is set at 30 degrees of plantar flexion. You should see the number three in the little window there. The second thing we have to do is swap out the flat sole to the wedge sole. The way you're gonna do it is press these two little buttons on the bottom of the boot and take the sole off. Here, you can make further adjustments to the boot. So if the patient has a larger foot, you can press and pull this part out or you can move it all the way in. Afterwards, you're gonna move on and put the wedge sole onto the boot and you want to hear these two sounds, make sure that the boot is clicked in properly and make sure you give this to the patient. We're gonna, we're gonna use it later. As far as the fitting goes, we find that the easiest uh, to put it on a patient is to start with the liner. So take the entire liner out. We're gonna put this in the ground. And place the foot in the liner first. And put the foot in the boot afterwards. And we're gonna put the lid on the top. And tighten the straps. end you're going to take the pump that's provided and suck the air out of the boot so you're just going to do it a few times until there is nothing else that comes out and close the valve and this is it we've successfully fitted a patient with the back of pet boot